an 8-year-old pregnant woman, Choma Okoro, has cried out to the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to direct the intelligence response team to release her husband, Chukudi Okoro. Choma told Sahara reporters on Saturday morning that her husband, Chukudi, is still being heard at the IRT because the family had not given 1.5 million naira to the IRT police in Abuja as demanded. Sahara reporters gathered that the four other Southeasterners who were raided alongside Okoro had regained their freedom after parting with at least a million naira as bribes to the police officers. The men were raided by the, the joint team of the police and Nigerian army on May 24 in Owiri, Imo State, and labeled as members of the indigenous people of Biafra and the unknown gunmen. Choma Okoro who is due to give birth in July begged the police top echelon to release her husband, who is a struggling tricycle driver and the first in his family. He said he is the only one in detention among the five of his set right now. The police told us to pay 1.5 million naira to secure his release. He is the eldest brother. He has only two younger brothers who are in school. They don't have such amount. My husband needs help. He does not have such an amount. The tricycle is riding is on hard purchase. And he has not even completed the hard purchase. I am not doing anything for now. I am eight months pregnant. I am a hairdresser. Things are very difficult for me and the family. He has been arrested since May since May twenty fifth, pardon. He was labelled as an unknown gunman who you know, know nothing about it. We last spoke on Wednesday and what my husband said was, I should try to find a means. We are all tired. So our reporters had earlier reported that the IGP intelligence response team in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, collected at least 1 million bribes as bail before releasing Southeast Youth and artisans raided as members of the IPOP's Eastern Security Network. Sahara reporters had learned from the families of the victims who did not want their names to print to avoid police victimization. They paid the huge sum through their nose before securing the bill of their relations. Sahara reporters gathered that the victims were raided in the southeast and brought to detention at the IGPS IRT office in Abuja. The investigating police officer at the IRT's team holding them is one Inspector Daniel. They were five in numbers, taken to the IRT office formerly called Abatio. We paid about one million naira to secure Chika Imezu, one of the victims. In June, he was released in June by the police in Abuja, one of the family members had said. What is your take on this? Innocent people being tagged on non gunmen? Innocent people being tagged IPOP members? What is your thought about this? We have heard in the news about the eight month old pregnant woman, Shoma Okoro who have cried out to the Inspector General of Police to direct the intelligence response team to release her husband, Chukudi Okoro. According to the news, we have, heard, you know, we have heard that the husband was allegedly raided by some policemen and he has been tagged unknown gunman. It, it is said that he was, you know, one of the IPOB members. What is your thought about this? According to the woman, he said her husband is innocent, he knows nothing about it. And for them to you know be able to release him, for them to grant him bail, they must be able to pay the sum of 1.5 million naira. And this man is said to be a tricycle driver. How do you expect them to get huge money like this? And according to what police or usually says, you hear them saying police is your friend, bail is free. Then, if bail is free, why are the police demanding for this huge amount of money just to release one man? What is this country turning into? 
we are talking about corruption we are talking about corruption here and there it is now obvious that it is not only the masses that are full of corruption but even the policemen also they are corrupt people what is your thought about this we would like you to share your own point of view with us on what has been said we would like you to share your own reaction with us on this this is unbelievable how can the police you know release some people just because they were able to pay at least one million era as a bribe for them to be released and they were released this is uncomfortable things needs you know to be done concerning this present situation we would like you to share your thought with us on this but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people has felt concerning this present situation it is more or less a kidnap because when kidnappers kidnap they demand for ransom imagine what the police has done it just is more or less a kidnap because bail is supposed to be free then why are you demanding for a huge amount of money like this do you kidnap him do you you know kidnap him well we will live to know about that let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this Odun Chris reacted to this and said people are arrested with no evidence and charged with a crime that is assumed Sometimes evidence is made up to justify an arrest. We all keep quiet and only come out to protest when things is in our favor. When someone is going against the law to reach a conclusion, we need, you know, we all need to come against such person, government or agency irrespective of our political ideology or ethnic or religion sentiment. If we fail to do that, we are as bad as the people in question. Query any act of illegality, not only when it affects those you care about, but for all. What is your thought about what Odun Chris have said? What is your own reaction to this? We have heard what Odun have said that police are arresting with no evidence. They charge with a crime that is assumed. It has been said time without numbers that you no, know, the Nigerian police should stop assuming. They should stop assuming because when you continue to assume, innocent people will continue to suffer. Now, according to what Odun said, they arrest with no evidence. How sure are you that this man arrested, this man in question, is an IPOP member? How sure are you that is an unknown gunman? We need to, you know, investigate this current situation very well before we jump into conclusion. The Nigerian police has been advised so many times that they should stop assuming and you know do their proper investigation and come out with tangible evidence you know to charge anybody with a crime what is your thought about this We'd like you also to drop your thoughts with us on what has been said let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on this Odogu also reacted to this and said this is a kidnap for ransom certified kidnap for ransom when we see that police and army in Biafra land are terrorists on uniform. Some people misunderstood us. You know, they misunderstood us. They will certainly, you know, certainly pardon, pay for their evil. What is your thought about what Odogu have also said? That what the police has done is just an act of kidnap for ransom. It is certified kidnap for ransom. When we say that police and army in Biafra land are terrorists in uniform, you know, some people misunderstood us. They will certainly pay for their evil. What is your say to this? Do you believe that police and army in Biafra land are terrorists on uniform? What is your say to this? We'd like you to share your thought with us on what has been said. We'd like you to share your own point of view concerning this. Don't forget that I don't have 1.5 million naira to give police. That is what this woman has said. That her husband is not an IPOP member. He said they should release him. That is what the pregnant woman have cried out about. What is your say to this? We'd like you to share your own point of view with us on what has been said. Thank you guys for listening.